We got what you want. Yeah, you better believe. We got what you want. Fun, fun. We got what you want. We got what you need. We got what you want. We got what you need. We got what you want. Yeah, you better believe. We got what you want. We got what you need.
down underwater, breathing ever better, ever more comfortably, ever more safely. For 50 years, the people of Scuba Pro have innovated, invented, and offered divers almost supernatural abilities to get ever closer to nature. Welcome to the highlights of the history of Scuba Pro regulators. A history of passion, of excellence, an evolution of sometimes revolutionary ideas. It's 1963 and the first Scuba Pro regulator gets in the water. The 108 second stage breaks with the angular design of early regulators and defines the Scuba Pro look for several years. The need for reliability drives Scuba Pro to focus on a simple mechanism. The Mark II first stage is such a success that it is still in production today. The Mark V is the first regulator to use a steel flow-through piston, offering 25% higher performance than any other first stage of the time. It's also the first to feature a swiveling turret. In 1971, the manual reserve valve is the only safety system until the launch of the Mark VII and its audio system which warns the diver when the reserve pressure is reached. The pilot's second stage features a servo-assisted valve that provides a natural breathing experience. In 1979, it is chosen by the U.S. Navy for experimental deep dives. The alternative inflator regulator, or AIR-2, combines the features of a second stage regulator with those of a balanced inflator into one convenient single device. An updated version of the AIR-2 is still on the catalogue today. In 1985, the first second stage to feature an adjustable balanced valve offering a better breathing experience than ever, the balanced adjustable. The G250 is designed to provide complete breathing comfort and rugged durability. It remains popular through several different versions, succeeded by the brand new G260 in 2013. In 1996, Scuba Pro applies Space Age technology to the Mark 20 ultralight first stage. Made of a special marine aluminium alloy with a ceramic coating, it weighs 50% less than the brass version. In 2001, already at the forefront of second stage technology, Scuba Pro introduces the S600, a second stage that virtually eliminates the breathing effort. The proven flow-through concept is further refined in the Mark 25 AF, which introduces the anti-freeze design for high performance in cold water. The A700 second stage marks the return in 2009 of an all-metal design, required for extremely cold waters. It is hand-welded for exact tolerances and has a superb finish. Today, Scuba Pro celebrates 50 years of regulator innovation, releasing four new S600 systems, including a Mark 25 S600 Anniversary Edition. Fifty years of technical excellence, because deep down, you want the best. To breathe underwater, to descend into the blue, to explore the deep, to swim like a fish. For 50 years, Scuba Pro's inventors have offered inquisitive men and women the supernatural abilities they need to get closer to nature. Welcome to the highlights of the history of Scuba Pro innovations, a history of passion, of excellence an evolution of sometimes revolutionary ideas. In 1963, Scuba Pro creates the Mark II, so simple and reliable that it is still used today. The revolutionary visionaire combines a full-face mask with a second stage. 
the faceplate becomes the regulator diaphragm. The Scuba Pro jet fin is introduced in 1965 and revolutionizes the way divers swim. Almost 50 years later, it is still used by military and technical divers. The Mark V is the first high-performance piston first stage. It is also the first to have a swiveling turret, still used on MK25 today. In 1969, Scuba Pro releases the 109, first adjustable second stage, allowing the diver to fine-tune the inhalation effort to the requirements of the dive. Before 1978, divers use a horse collar BC. Then Scuba Pro engineers combine two of these, creating the stabilizing jacket, the first modern buoyancy compensator. Next, Scuba Pro invents the Air 2, a smart concept that integrates a second stage with a balanced inflator in the same compact housing. In 1986, Scuba Pro invents a radical new blade profile, optimized for efficiency, the C-Wing Fin. G250 brings together the most advanced technology and materials in a second stage that combined with the Mark 10 becomes the benchmark for all balanced regulators. The original Aladdin and its successors have sold many units since its conception in 1987, simplifying decompression for all divers. The frameless is the first mask to use the lens as its structural support which significantly increases the field of vision. 23 years later, it is still the first choice of military and technical divers. AirX is the first dive computer to measure tank pressure with a radio transmitter instead of a hose and to calculate remaining bottom time. The Twinjet is a split fin modeled after the flippers of marine mammals. This design delivers power with minimal effort. Galileo revolutionizes dive computers in 2007 with hybrid air oil filling, dot matrix display and a maximum operating depth of 330 meters or 1080 feet. It's also the first to use the diver's heart rate to estimate the workload. The Sea-Wing Nova, successor to the 1986 Sea-Wings, introduces a new streamlined blade design with a high-tech flexible joint. Scuba Pro. Because deep down, you want the best. <laughs>